Okay, in this video, we're gonna learn how to animate this shot. And after following this tutorial, you're gonna learn the pattern that I use to make any shot look good and also make my camera motions seem interesting. So let's get started. Now you can model this yourself, but I provided the link in the description. Let's get a quick plane right here. Scale it up. And first of all, I'm gonna do some lighting. So let's go to the world tab and bring down the string to zero. I think this will work for EV2, so let's shift A, add in the light, it's gonna be an area light. Bring it up here, and I'm gonna give it a power of 400. Let's go to Cycles, GPU Compute, and I'm gonna bring down the spread of the light. Let's bring down the power a little bit, bring up the spread. So we go to the negative Y axis, and we get a camera here. Just bring it back there. And let's set up our aspect ratio. I'm gonna go for square. Let's turn on this. The focal length is gonna be 100. So let's duplicate this light to the side right there. Move it back and let's see how this looks like. I'm gonna scale up the plane way more. Now in your render you don't want the blacks to be too black. So we're gonna fix that later. Let's get some depth of field on the camera. So let's select the camera, go to depth of field and select your object. Now you can bring down the f-stop based on what you want. I'm gonna keep it on 0.9 or something. Give it some blades. And I keep the ratio at 50 or something. What about some volumetrics? So let's get a cube. And let's scale it up right here. And we're gonna give it some volume shader so remove this one and get a principled volume connect that to the volume then we're gonna bring down the density and see how this looks like let's bring down the color a little bit it's mixed up pretty well there now I'm gonna set my color management to high contrast and then we're gonna go to the compositing here Use nodes. Let's turn on viewport compositing. So set that to always and it will be composited there. Let's get a color balance and a lens distortion. I want some imperfection there. So just hit fit here. We're gonna set the dispersion to 0 0.002. So to make the colors pop, I'm gonna set the first one to a little bit blacker and the second one to be Let's see what we can do here. You can make it bluish or greenish too if you want. But I'm gonna go for something in the middle. Now let's bring up these colors to make it pop. So just bring that up. I think that's better. Now we can start animating this thing. Getting the look right is a difficult thing. But once you do that, you can animate it however you like and it will look good. Let's add a little bit of fill light in this area too. And I'm gonna make it very subtle, so just make it like 30, that's good. Now you can play with the color of this cube volume as well, so let's see if I make it a little bit bluish or greenish. That's the deep look that I would get. It's pretty hard to make a plastic bottle look good that is just green with no details, alright? And you can make anything look good as long as you just try and just try out different things, you know? Now enough talking about the render, let's just animate it real quick. So, I'm gonna hide my cube with the volumetric, so let's just hide that. And select the camera. So first of all, what we wanna do is just get an empty here. And bring it up. Sorry if my voice sounds weird, I have... I've got flu and I don't like it. So let's just select the camera, then the empty in control P and keep transform. Now when you scale the empty, you can move or rotate the camera around. So first of all, we're gonna move the bottle up. So let's insert location and rotation. And on frame 10, I'm gonna bring it up and double R to rotate it a little bit. You can rotate it to any side that you want and center it out. And then just insert location and rotation. This is how the shot looks like. It's very boring, but on frame 7, I'm gonna insert location and rotation again and select the frame 10th 
move it over to frame 30. This is how it looks like now. Then we're gonna get this camera controller empty. Now right here, insert a location, rotation and scale keyframe. And on frame 10, I'm gonna scale it up, bring it up over here. And just scale it down on the bottle. I'm gonna insert location, rotation and scale and go back to frame seven like we did for the bottle. And then insert location, rotation and scale and move the 10th frame to frame 30. And let's play that. That looks good. You're gonna get some nice zoom effects here. So on frame 38, double R to rotate it, scale it down. And I'm gonna try to focus on this text, but it's out of focus now because we don't have an empty. We have an origin that is coming from the bottle, which is in the center. So the focus is kind of moved around. So let's insert location, rotation and scale. Let's see how this looks like. Now on frame 38, I think I can rotate it a little bit to make it interesting. And insert location and rotation. Now on frame 36, I'm gonna insert these again and move your 38 keyframe to 55 or 60 and move this one to 38. Oh, it's too slow. So let's bring it back to 50. I think I'm gonna go to frame 42, insert location, rotation and scale and move this on top of that one. Let's see how this looks like. It'll be slower. Let's go to frame 60, hit double R to rotate it on this side now. And this time I'm gonna show this prime logo text here and just bring it down on this. So insert, location, rotation and scale. Or we can bring it down a little bit, just like that. Insert, location, rotation and scale. Go back a few frames here and insert that again. Let's move it a little bit forward and it's like this one, bring it back to 80. Let's see how this looks like. Boom. It's too slow, I think. So I'm gonna bring this keyframe back a little bit and bring this over to 70 or 75. So I'm gonna go to 62, insert that again and move this keyframe on top of that one. Maybe it gets faster here. And also let's make this 30 FPS because I don't like 24 FPS renders at all. Maybe we can bring this down a little bit more and insert that. And on here, just insert the keyframes and bring it over on top of that one. And let's on 75, bring it down a little bit, scale it up. There we go. On frame 57, I'm gonna hit double R, rotate it this way so that on 75, we have the other rotation and it looks interesting. Right now, it's just like going straight. Grab it, double R and insert that. I feel like this could be interesting. We can get it from the top view, I think. And then insert these. Just delete this keyframe. On 47, double R to rotate it a little bit. Insert these and bring this keyframe back right here to 738. That's great. So let's move that one frame ahead, select all of these and move that two frames over there. Now let's see that. It has some dynamic to it now. Let's hit double R on this. I'm gonna try that and insert these. What we can also do is delete this keyframe and go back a few frames right there. 
insert that and bring it back over here let's see that now on frame 82 i'm gonna show one angle and then go back to its original position so double r insert location rotation and scale go back a few frames two frames i think and insert those again move it over here and bring that back to 100 let's see that okay that is looking good but on 85 i'm gonna insert these and move these keyframes to override this one there we go now we're gonna go back to the initial frame of the whole thing so select this duplicate the first frame to 110 and select the bottle duplicate this frame to 100 and duplicate the the first frame to 110 now right here i'm going to set the end to 110 or 109 and then it will be a perfect loop so let's see how this looks like It's a little bit fast at the end, but we're going to fix that now. So, so let's set the end to 120. So on frame 120, I'm going to scale it up a little bit because it, it was going back here. So let's do that and insert location and rotation. Now the focal length can be fixed very easily without even animating. So we're gonna get a quick empty here so shift a empty plane axis is, and just bring down the size a little bit i'm gonna shrink wrap it go to the constraints and get a shrink wrap select your object here and also parent it to the camera so select the empty and the camera right here hit ctrl p and keep transform now in the camera you can select the empty as depth of field and now you can see this issue has been solved. And what this does is whenever the camera is moving, the MT is also shrink wrapping to the area which needs to be focused on. So this is our setup. This is how it looks like in the rendered view. So this was a simple camera motion tutorial and if you want to learn advanced product animation, I have a very detailed course on it with 3 hours of content and I'm going to be creating these shots in front of you and you can follow along. So yeah, if you're into that, you can get the course or just watch these tutorials. And if you want to support me, you can do that on Patreon where you can find the project files as well. And if you want to see more of these, subscribe to the channel, like this video and I'll see you in the next one.